1216, good afternoon. 1216, uh, the 4th of August, 91 degrees outside. It is Tuesday. Uh, I have taken Jojo to the vet this morning. Here's he and I just before. Jojo, where are you? You ready for the doctor? Jojo, you're gonna be a good boy, okay? <laughs> yeah, I know. You saw the nurse, huh? Now you're ready, ready to go play. Okay, so I'm home. Um, I've been editing this morning um, and uh, just passing the time. The vet has already called me. He should be in surgery right now. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna make some salmon for lunch and saute some zucchini and uh, maybe some cauliflower rice and just have that on the side. Uh, just a little protein for lunch. Here's my salmon. I just get it at Costco. It's wild caught. And all I'm going to do is put it in the pan and sear it with a little bit of um, uh, meat side down first with a little bit of garlic and olive oil and butter. And then I will put it in the oven at 450 to finish off in about 15, 20 minutes until it flecks, you know, until it's cooked all the way through. Salmon, I, I, I tend to overcook it, but I don't really think you can do that too much with salmon because I'm just not 100% sure when it's completely cooked. So there we go. Um, anyway, so yesterday was lots of fun. I took you with us as we went and looked at the RVs and I sort of ended the vlog abruptly. We did uh, rent the RV. I'm gonna put a lot of butter in this pan. Um, we did uh, rent the RV and um, I'm very, very excited. And that will be coming up here in a few weeks. So stay tuned for that, I'm so excited. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put, like I said, um, this butter is browning, which doesn't bother me a bit. I just don't want it to burn. So there's a lot in there. And let me get my salmon out and I'm going to, as I said, put it down Oh, let me put the garlic in. A teaspoon or so of garlic. You don't want too much, but you don't want too little. It's garlic. It's delicious. So, there we go. All right, I'm gonna bring this down and show you. It's super easy. Okay, there it is, and of course it is browning. And then when I flip it over, I'll put a little salt and pepper on it. That's about it. That's all we need to do. I mean, you can brown it more if you want. This is a little garlic salt. From Trader Joe, you know, my favorite stuff. If that wasn't enough. I have a backup finally because I was running low. There we go. And um, I'm just going to put it in. Flip it one more time, get some more of that goodness on top. And I'm just going to put it in the oven to finish off. And that's it. And then I'm going to saute some zucchini. I know that garlic's getting dark. It's all right, it's brown, it's not burnt which is what you want. You don't want burnt. Okay, we're just gonna saute some um, zucchini and a little bit of uh, cauliflower, rice cauliflower. Just a little bit uh, for lunch. And of course, I will season it with my Trader Joe garlic salt. These are two smaller zucchini. Um, I do like my zucchini firm. I don't really care for it to get mushy. So, um, I've tried frozen zucchini. It's, it's too mushy for me, unfortunately. So I have to keep fresh. And, um, ooh, you know what? I have some asparagus tips. I'm gonna get those. Let me get those. All right. Cauliflower rice, a little bit of asparagus tips. This should be a delicious lunch. I'll go ahead and put them in now. Just to give 
this some time to defrost. I mean, you could, I could have microwaved it for a couple of minutes, but, or a few seconds actually, but this is fine. It'll all settle down. There we go. Garlic seasoning. Mm. All right, now I've got a lid I'm gonna pop on this. If you don't have one big enough, just use a sheet pan. I'm gonna turn the heat off and just cover this. It's done. And that will continue to melt. I mean, it'll be fine. It's pretty much soft and cooked when it's frozen. So, there we go. So, I'm just gonna cover this. I'm not going to eat all of this for lunch today. I'm gonna split it in half, and the other half will be for dinner tonight. I'm, we're having burgers. And okay, so, there we go. That's what I'm having for lunch. I'll just pop in a quick two second video here at the end of this to show you what everything looks like when it comes out. Salmon, the skin will stick to the pan, uh, so you don't have to worry about separating it off to eat it. Um, and so that's very convenient. And then I put the pan in the sink and fill it up with water and uh, the skin comes right off. It's not difficult, not difficult to get off. And there you go, that's it. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm a little stressed right now worrying about Jojo. So I am going to finish cooking my lunch, sit down and have some lunch. Rob and Robbie are gonna be home here pretty soon. And um, we're all just gonna sit around and wait for Mr. Jojo together. And uh, there we go. So, all right. I, did I mention this? I'm so distracted and so concerned about Jojo right now. I'm not even thinking straight. This little top is from Loft. It runs a little big. This is a small. Um, so you might, you might size down, um, you know, it's not too big, but it's a little big. So maybe if I would have gotten it in petite, it might have been a little better. So, but it's on sale right now. Loft is running one sale after the other. Apparently they're in like chapter 11 or something. I don't know. How could they be with, they've got to, I don't know. That's not my business. Anyway, whoo, I'm a mess. So I'm gonna have lunch, I'll touch up my makeup, and then um, hopefully it'll be time to go get JoJo. Okay, just a brief hello to JoJo, hi baby. He's home, he's very heavily medicated, it was very difficult to get him home. But he's here and he's doing well. They said he did really, really well. He's just not happy about his cone. <sighs> he really wants that off. I think if we took that off, he'd perk right up, but he is not happy with that thing on him. I know, baby. <laughs> I know. But he carried his new baby all the way home. <laughs> Good morning. Can you say hello to everyone? How are you doing today, handsome boy? Did you have a good night? Did mommy break the rules? Mommy did. Mommy took that that collar thing off of me because I was miserable. And I promised mommy that I would not scratch or lick. And I have not so far. But since mommy took it off, I have rested so much better. Poor baby. He's doing so well. We have his little rag over here. Damn it. <laughs> he is doing really well. Um, he was in a little bit of pain. And um, one of his spots has had a little bit of, this is a yucky word, so <laughs> close your ears if you don't like it, <laughs> seepage. Um, but other than that, it's done really well. Um, I've cleaned him this morning and he's had, he's had a good morning. He's had a little bit spoiled when he had to take his medicine this morning. We always give his medicine and cheese and he had his medicine and cheese this morning. Um, but because of the medications that he is on for his skin, he can't really have pain medications because they can interact wrong and some pain medications are due to his age. But, um, yeah, oh, you gonna get up? What? 
What did you hear? What? My baby. So, um, anyway, uh, but he really is doing quite well. We're very pleased with his progress. Um, and uh, I'm right here with him, so he's not going to lick or scratch. And if he does start, I will, of course, put the cone back on because I, I know it's for his best interest. But he was falling, and it was messing with his balance, and he was running into things. And I just I didn't know if that was actually a safer option when I can sit here with him or be with him and watch him to make sure he doesn't scratch. So make sure he doesn't lick. It's more the licking. And honestly, it's his sister we have to worry about licking more than him. Paul, they cut his toenails for me yesterday. I asked for an extra short. So that's what they did while he was sleeping. So it wasn't uncomfortable for him. But um, he, he has no traction now. Okay, so one second. He does have three sur surgical spots. They are quite large because the bumps, lumps are uh, were kind of large. So they're there, we had to, we, anyway. So the one on his side is about the um, wound, the surgical spot is about, I don't know, five, six inches long. The one on his back paw is about four inches long and the one on his neck is about four inches long. The outside per protrusion of the bumps weren't that big. It was more on the inside. So um, it was a lot to remove. So that's why the spots had to be kind of big. Um, and, uh, but otherwise, you know, he's done really, really well. And, um, you know, his front legs are shaved where he had his IVs and everything. And um, they said that he was adorable and precious and fun. And he had a room all to himself. And um, they kept going in and spending time with him because he's, he's a very lovable boy. And he doesn't realize that he's 125 pounds. He doesn't realize that he's so big. And he's not, he's not afraid of people. Um, he's very, very friendly. And so that makes it <laughs> bodes well for him, especially when he has to go to the vet because they like to snuggle him and spoil him. Anyway, so... He finally ate this morning, which made me happy. He didn't want to eat, um, but they asked me to kind of encourage him to eat, and uh, he did. He, Like I said, I had to put some chicken stock in his food, and then he was very happy to eat it. But I didn't give him a full breakfast, just you know, a little bit with some chicken stock so that he would uh, get something in his belly. And especially with medication and stuff, I, I want to make sure he has something in his belly. So there you go. So that's the little update on Joe. Um, I'm wearing my little uh, dress from Stitch Fix that I got in a box, um, I don't know, last year, maybe even the year before last. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, it's nice to wear around the house and it's comfortable, especially in the heat. And, um, you know, we're not going out, but I'd like to wear it anyway. Good morning, Jojo. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling? You got all your babies? You got all your babies? Yes. Daddy bought him two new babies after surgery. And right after surgery, he handed him this, that one and he carried it all the way home. Speaking of daddy, there's daddy. Jojo. No, my daddy's coming. No. There you go. Did you say hi to your daddy? Work is so messed up this week. He was able to he's able to sleep in a little bit this morning. What are you doing over there? Jojo. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I got my babies. Yes, ma'am. You have all your babies, and so now you're happy. Good morning. It is good afternoon. 12.05, the 6th of September, August. Goodness. You can tell I'm rushing this year. Uh, 90 degrees outside, how are you today? I am doing really well. I've just gone through, let me grab my coffee. I've just gone through a few recipes that I wanna get to this week. Um, I didn't ever tell you about these. These are the Keto Thin by Julian Bakery. Um, tortillas, goodness, the word would come eventually. If you'll remember, Serious Keto had a uh, tortilla that I did last week or the week before whenever it was they were really good These are almost identical to them. So if you don't have the time the patience the energy the 
wherewithal, the want to make your own keto tortillas, these are very, very similar to those. Um, they're not inexpensive. I did, sorry, I did go and get them from Julian Bakery directly. They are available on Amazon, but for some reason, I just felt more comfortable going through Julian Bakery direct. I also ordered bread from them. I ordered a three pack of the regular keto bread and then a three pack of their paleo bread. Um, I have been trying it and I will show that to you, not right this second, but um, I actually, I like it, but um, it's, again, it's so expensive. These keto breads are crazy expensive. Whole Foods had one very similar to them for like $13. These were like about $13 each. Again, really, really expensive. So um, I think what I'm gonna do in the future, I will eat, consume these breads because I paid for them. But I think I'm just gonna make my own. I think the recipes that call for uh, the psyllium husk powder and things like that, those make a really good bread. So once I'm through all of these, we're going to experiment with some of those. I have them here, do I have them out? Yeah, this one is by uh, Sugar Free Londoner. It's the keto, fluffy keto buns, and it has um, psyllium husk in it. And then there's a couple of other ones that we're gonna play with. Uh, after I'm done with all of this bread, I will show you the bread again, just not right this second. Anyway, um, this is for Aunt Rocky's Oat Fiber Chocolate Chip Cookies. I'm super excited about these. I'm hoping to get to these either today or tomorrow. And these are sugar-free oatmeal cookies. This is by the Sugar-Free uh, Low Carb Maven. These look so good, but I don't have any grass-fed beef gelatin. I don't have any beef gelatin, period. Uh, I have just gelatin and I don't know if it matters I don't know those I'm excited to make these are things that I found today things I'm considering to take with us in the RV um, and so I'm just kind of playing around with a couple of things and I would like to try them out FabFitFun had their edit sale I got a notebook that's it hardbound spiral notebook and a couple of tops and one dress and two tops so if you remember my fact that fun style, I had to send back a dress that had beautiful embroidery up at the top. Well, they had a little shirt. It was extremely similar. It's just a shirt. It's not a dress, but honestly, I'll get more wear out of the shirt than any of them. So I'm super excited about this and it was very inexpensive. I think it was like $16.99. I'll remember in future to write it down. So. Just really cute, this was part of the add-on sale. But again, this is something you can get from Fat Fit Fun Style. So there's that, I absolutely love this. So then there is this one, so up my alley. Um, little peplum, this one you can tie, you know, bring in the waist, I probably won't, maybe a little. Um, but here it is, it's a little cropped, but obviously not on me, because I'm not super tall. My legs are pretty much average size. It, I'm short from my hips up. That's kind of where I'm more of my shortness comes in. My legs are pretty much a good length. That's why dresses are difficult for me. Denim, usually pretty good with denim, usually. Some brands it's not, so cut. Cut tends to run a little long on me. And then this dress, uh, I'm sorry, the first top, this black top is by THML, I really enjoy that brand. That was the brand of the dress. Um, and this is Hazel is the red top. That's by Hazel and this is by Skies Are Blue. Pretty feminine, beautiful, uh, little tie waist uh, dress. Absolutely love this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Very, very feminine. Uh, perfect for the spring. I, of course, passed the spring by now. Um, but uh, there you go, I absolutely love it, and um, I'm looking forward to wearing it next year. Did you go to the doctor? You did very well, didn't you, baby?
goodness. <laughs> How you doing? It's a good boy. Good boy. There's one there. There. It's a good boy. Hi. Hi. Fuck that. Nope. Hi, I haven't officially said hello to you. I just showed you chocolate chip cookies. Those are the oat fiber chocolate chip cookies and I highly recommend them. They are full of fiber, so you can't really eat that many, but they're very low calorie and low carb as well. So keto, you know, they have less than one carb each. So uh, it called for 24, said you should get 24. I didn't get 24, I got 20, no big deal. Anyway, so they're really good. I will leave them listed in the description box for you. And I will leave the oat fiber that I use, everything I used in the recipe, I will leave for you linked in the description box. Um, and uh, we, so we had some salmon this week and we saw Jojo. And uh, I'm just glad we're on the other side of Jojo's uh, surgery. And he's doing much better now that we went for his little checkup yesterday. He tore two stitches, like I said, um, several actually. And um, because of where it was on his foot, it really should have been wrapped. I don't, anyway, so, but he's doing much better now. It's all wrapped up and um, we're gonna be, he's gonna be great. He's gonna do well. He has a follow-up appointment in a couple of weeks to remove the staples, I think. And um, we'll go from there. So, and I wanted to thank you guys for how sweet you were to us about the RV. We are so excited. So, um, I've got some ideas in mind for some new videos about RVing coming up. So, watch for those coming up. And, uh, I mean, as we are primarily a travel channel. So, anyway, I'm just, I am giddy. I'm so excited about that. Giddy. Giddy. Anyway, um, and so many of you RV. Oh my goodness, I had no idea. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm just excited. Anyway, so um, I think that's everything. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a vlog here. And uh, thank you guys for those of you who, who watched the vlog last week and who have been watching. I really appreciate you guys and um, also, I've been posting a little bit of Nordstrom content. Um, I'm, I'm really excited. I, Magic Links asked me to partner with them and I'm just, I'm super excited about that. I don't do that kind of thing very often, um, but when they reached out and asked, I was just excited. I thought that was really cool and really fun. And um, so I said yes. And I don't normally say yes to that kind of thing, so. Thank you so much to those of you who have watched that video. And uh, there'll be one more, I'll be doing the haul, and uh, that'll be about it, so. But I'm excited about the Nordstrom sale, and um, picking up some practical things this year, nothing over the top, because I don't really need too much. And I think a lot of us have a very low budget this year for anything extra, so I wanted to be mindful of that. So, anyway, all right, you guys. Thank you so much, I sincerely appreciate you and uh, all the love that you've given Rob and I and Jojo and of course all the other fur babies and we will see you next week. Bye.